Hello, Algebra 1 students. This is Mrs. Yowd. Today I'm going to be doing Chapter 6, Lesson 5, which is about solving exponential equations. Please have your journals open to page 190. An exponential equation is an equation where the variable is in the exponent. A simple exponential equation would be like 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 5. So what happens is that if we have the bases as the same, so anytime you have the bases the same, that means that the exponents are going to equal each other. So since the bases are the same here, we can say that x is equal to 5. So this means since the bases are equal, that means that the exponents are also equal. So our general rule is if we have b to the power of x equaling b to the power of y, what we can say is that x is equal to y. And the reason why is because the bases are exactly the same. By the way, in this scenario, um, you, can, you have to have b greater than 0, and b cannot equal 1. Because what happens if b equals 1? If we had 1 to the power of x equals 1 to the power of 7, well, since 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, it doesn't matter how many times you multiply 1 by itself, you're going to get, it, it could be anything. So x could be 7, but x could also be 8, or x could be, you know, 10 or whatever, right? X could even be a negative number. So X could even be negative 5 because it would still work out. So that's why uh, B cannot be 1. Okay, let's take a look at the next page on page 191. So on these problems, we need to solve the equation. I'm going to start with number 3. So since we have the bases are the same, so 6 is equal to 6, that means we can say that the exponents are also equal. So 4x minus 5 is equal to 2x. So all that remains is to solve for x. When I solve for x, I get x is equal to 5 over 2 or 2.5. So now what we could do to check our answers is we could plug it back into the original equation. So 6 to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 over 2 minus 5 should equal 6 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 over 2. So now I'm going to solve that and see if that works. And sure enough, when I solved it, I got 6 to the power of 5 is equal to 6 to the power of 5. So you can always double check your answers by plugging them back into the original equation and see if it holds true. Let's practice one more of these problems. So uh, number four, I'm going to, I notice that the bases are the same. So that means my exponent, 6x minus 3, is it going to equal negative 3 plus 4x. So now we're just going to solve this. After I solved it, I found that x was equal to 0. I would like for you to try number 1 and number 2 on your own. For number 1, I got x is equal to 3. And for number 2, I got x was equal to 15. Let's take a look at number 5. So you'll notice on number 5, our bases are not the same this time. So that means we have an extra step that we need to do. We have 4 to the power of 2x plus 11. And we need to see if we can find a number where 4 is power raised to what power uh, that will give us 1,024. So this is where using your calculator can come in handy, or if you want to, you can go ahead and do it by hand. So if we did it by hand, I, I know from previous um, knowledge that 3 fours together equals 64, because we've used that quite a bit. So now if we have 64 multiplied by 4, we get 256, and then 256 multiplied by 4 does give us 1,024. So now we need to find how many 4s is that. So we have 3 here, 4, and 5. So that means 4 to the power of 5 will equal 1,024. Okay, now that we have the bases as the same, 
right, 4 and 4, what we can say is that the exponents now are equal. So that means 2x plus 11 is equal to 5. So now we just need to solve for x on this problem. And I got x is equal to negative 3. Incidentally, when you do these type of problems and you're trying to figure out how many there are, you could also use your calculator to help you and just guess and check until you get to what you want it to be. Let's take a look at number six. So I want to see if I can find a number uh, that is eight that equals 512. So eight to the power of what gives me 512? Turns out using my calculator, I can find that eight to the power of three gets me there. So that means that we have three minus two X is equal to three because those are, our, are the exponents that we have here and here. I would like you to finish number six on your own and go ahead and do number seven while you're at it. So six and seven, please. For number six, I got X is equal to zero and number seven, I got X is equal to three. Please check your answers and if you made any mistakes, see if you can find them. Okay, let's take a look at number eight. So 49 multiplied uh, to a power does ne will never give me four, 343. So that means that I also need to break down the 49 as well. Well, seven times seven is 49. So that means uh, seven to the power of two will give me 49. But there's still an x minus two there. So that means I need to put those in parentheses, so x minus 2. And now we need to figure out 7 to the what power gives us 343. So using my calculator, I see that 7 to the power of 3 gives me 343. So as you can see on this problem, I had to break down the 49 and I had to break down the 343 in order to get my bases the same. So now I have the bases the same, which means that now I can uh, take the exponents and set them to equal each other. So two parentheses, x minus two equals three. And now we just need to solve for x. And when I solved for x, I got x is equal to seven over two. All right, let's take a look at number nine. So I see that I have 36 here, um, and I know that this base over here is six. Well, six squared is 36. So that means I'm gonna go six to the power of two, which is 36, uh, but I've still got another bit of exponent there. So that needs to go in the parentheses, six X minus one. And I don't need to change the other side because now I have the bases are the same. So we have a six here and a six here. So I can set two parentheses, six X minus one is equal to five X and I can solve from there. I would like for you to finish number nine and go ahead and try numbers 10, 11 and 12 as well. For number nine, I got X is equal to two over seven. For number 10, X is equal to negative four over five. Number 11 is X equals two. And number 12, X equals negative one. Please pause the video and check your answers and see if you can find your mistakes if you made any mistakes. On page 192, we're going to skip numbers 16 through 22 and only do numbers 13, 14, and 15. So let's take a look at number 13. 2,401, if I use my calculator, I can see that I know that seven squared is 49, seven to the power of three is 343, and seven to the power of four is 2,401. So that means that if I take the 2,401, I'm gonna change it to seven to the power of four because I notice that there's a seven over here. But now this is not, uh, correct. It doesn't have a base of 7. It has a base of 1 over 7. So that means I need to think about my negative exponents. So 7 to the negative 1 is going to be the same as 1 over 7. So that means that um, I'm gonna, my, negative, my exponent is now negative 1, and I still have an x here. So that means I have negative 1x as my exponent for that 7. 
So since now we have the basis the same, we can say negative 1x is equal to 4. And so that means dividing out the negative 1, x is equal to negative 4. Let's take a look at number 14. First thing I want to do is I want to get the uh, 512 out from the denominator. So I'm going to make that 512 to the negative 1, and that equals 2 to the 3x minus 1. So now I need to think of 2 to the what power gives me 512. And using my calculator to help me, I see that um, 2 to the power of 9 will give me there. But I still have a negative 1 here. So that means it's going to be 2 to the negative 9. OK, so now I have negative 9 is equal to 3x minus 1. And I need to solve for that. So after I solved, I got x is equal to negative 8 over 3. So let's take a look at number 15. Um, I have a 25 and I have a 625. So I think what I'm going to do is change those to a 5, a base of 5. So the 25 is 5 squared. So that means that this side is going to be 5 squared and then multiplied by what else is in the exponent here, which is 2 minus 2x. 625 is 5 to the power of 4. So that means that 1 over 625 will be 5 to the power of negative 4. And once again, I still have this part of the exponent there. So that is going to be x plus 1 here. OK, so now I'm ready to solve this. So I have 2 and then 2 minus 2x is equal to negative 4x plus 1. So we have 4 minus 4x equals negative 4x minus 4. So if I add 4x to both sides, I get 4 is equal to negative 4. Notice that my, x, my um, variables disappeared. So that means that we need to look and see what's left. This is a false statement. 4 does not equal negative 4. So that means this particular question has no solution as its answer. Okay. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching.